Hi everybody, James Kendrick here with JakeIllinois.com, a gay on site. Fresh back from Kevin Toffel's wedding up in central Pennsylvania. And I had a chance this trip to play with a brand new device that was just actually announced today. But I have had for a few days and able to use it. And that is the Telenav Shotgun GPS. Now, a lot of you may be familiar with the Telenav GPS software that to date has been running on smartphones and Windows mobile devices and the such. But the shotgun here is Telenav's first entry into the actual hardware device category. And basically, it comes with the little shotgun device. Very small, it's very light, thin, light. It's got like a 4.3 inch screen. It's got a uh, headphone jack over here, mini USB for the charger, which it comes with. It uh, on the back, it's got a speaker grill, and that, if you, you probably can't see it, <clears throat> it says it runs on Windows CE Core 5.0. So it's Windows CE device, base device, which makes sense. Like I said, they, their software has been running on those mobile devices for some time, and as you'll see in just a minute, I'm going to turn this on. Basically, it's the same software simply put on Telemab's own hardware. So, quick little look. There's a little LED which flashes. It's different colors, blue, green, red, depending on different charge states, etc. Nothing on the top except a little recess power button here, which you can see. And then over here, you've got the slot where the SIM card lives. And then the flash memory slot, which I think is where all the maps and such reside. Very good. It's got over 11 million points of interest in the database. And this is GPRS connected device. It uh, basically communicates with the Telenav service as it's being used. And it, will, it can be set to notify you if there's traffic, problems, accidents in your route etc and help you route around them if you need if you need to so I'm just going to turn this on real quickly this is going to be a very short thing it was in standby mode there's the little home screen telenav drive to search maps and traffic extras etc volume control and this is a touch screen and let's do a test it's at maximum volume your destination is on your right that's just a test of the volume. Uh, one of the only complaints that I had using this this past weekend is the 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 maximum volume is hard to hear in a in a moving vehicle, particularly if you have your radio on even a low volume. And I wish they would fix that. But anyway, you just touch here. I'm going to see if I can't get a test. Uh, well, I'm just telling it to go to. Rad is trying to get the GPS, which I'm indoors. It may not be able to. Let's see what it does. This is the other thing. It takes it a while. It has to have a good GPS fix before you can even enter in a, a search for a, an address. And I don't like that. Um, other GPS units I've used don't require that, but this one does. Anyway, it's still trying to get a GPS lock, which it's not going to be able to. So it may not let me do this indoors. GPS signal is weak, so it's not going to let me do that, but I can pull up the map for the destination. And then you've got zoom buttons. You can zoom in and out. Zoom in. Zoom out, I think. There we go. Zoom out. Zoom out some more. And it's, overall, it's pretty fast. It works. The screen is easy to see. Um, but you can go out. But I wish we could make it... Uh, can't get your current GPS location. It's not going to let me do anything, so I'm not going to show you a lot. Um, 
which is unfortunate. But this is the touch screen if you want to enter in something. If we said uh, Houston, it starts giving us in here typical touch screen. I'm going to tell it to go there. It's going to tell me I'm getting a GPS again. So anyway, too bad I can't really show you how it works. Which uh, short of taking a video crew into a vehicle while you're using it is kind of hard to do since it's not working. I was hoping I could just do a uh, yeah mo most GPS units like TomTom Tom that I've used in the past remember your previous GPS fix when you first start it so that you can actually start doing stuff even though it doesn't have a, a new GPS link the shotgun does not let you do that so until you in fact that's kind of a little bit annoying if you, when you first get in your car and you plug it into the uh, the mounting dock or bracket. This is a very nice bracket, by the way, which you can pops in in the car. Used it. It was nice. Very very sturdy. Very adjustable. As you can see, typical, but this one's a very good one. It worked very well, and it's easy to pop out and remove just like that when you want to go in but anyway you can't literally you really can't do anything in your vehicle with this until it gets a valid GPS fix and that can take as long as a minute sometimes and I, I wish they would change that to remember the last fix that it had uh, when you turned it off and I think that would work better Anyway, this has been James Kinnick with jkonline.com with a very quick look, video look at the brand new Telenav shotgun GPS device or personal navigation device, PND, this is being called. Uh, you can use this out of the box like it is, but it's really designed to, to use with the Telenav service which will cost you, I think it is uh, eleven ninety five a month to use it on a month to month basis or you can sign up for a year and it's cheaper or two years and it's cheaper still. And one of the cool things you can do with that on the Telenav, Telenav website, they have a My Telenav area that you log into with your device, not with your device but with the information up from the device and you can highlight a, an address on any web page in your browser and instantly tell my Telenab to send it here. And since this is a GPRS two-way communicator, it'll shoot it down here. So you don't actually, it's, that's a really cool way to get addresses into your GPS without having to tap on a little keyboard. And I really like that. Um, this device will, I think it retails suggested price is $300, and that gets you three-month trial membership for free. So you can try the Teladav service uh, without having to pay for it first once you buy this device, and you can see. So anyway, <clears throat> once again, it's James Kinnick with jkonline.com. The Teladav shotgun GPS, GPS device. We'll be back really, really soon. Thanks for stopping by, everybody.